Hello, it is a pleasure to be here. My name is Leonardo Glasserman, and I am going to present the results of the study called Analysis of Teaching, Work, Culture, Oriented to the Development of Entrepreneurship Skills. This research was conducted at Tecnológico de Monterrey in Mexico with Dr. May Portugues. With the implementation of new teaching and learning models, innovative educational practices aim to integrate concepts with skills and attitudes to develop competences. This process requires teacher training, considering the dynamic environment in which education develops today and poses new challenges to face the training of the, of the students of the future. Also allows teachers to analyze their learning paths and evaluate the different didactic, didactic strategies that arise in creating knowledge, require a paradigm change for the redesign of the curriculum in universities. In recent years, entrepreneurship has been recognized as one of the competencies contributing to this economic and social development. WANG identifies the need to stimulate entrepreneurship competencies in education, especially in the university level, thereby reinforcing the, information, the formation of more entrepreneurial culture in students by successfully incorporating them in the real world context. This formation requires greater collaboration between educational agents to enhance entrepreneurial competences and transform practices to perform these tasks. To achieve this objective, we approach the topic of study through a case study analysis of the results obtained by a group of teachers in Northern Mexico. They participate in entrepreneurship training as a part of their professional development. And the advantage of teaching this type of study, uh, of conducting this type of study, sorry, is that, that it allows a different interpretation of the data obtained in the field. The researchers can establish patterns to determine relationships between the different categories and establish com uh, commonalities between the data analyzed. The study was carried out in the context of the teaching training course, CADI, called How to Break the Barrier Between the Academic World and the Real World, held in a private non-for-profit university in Northern Mexico, uh, which is Tecnológico de Monterrey. And the objective of this study was to foster the necessary competencies for the development of prototypes by teachers and organi organizing teams while learning about the experiences of the organization in charge of the training as a disruptive entity that fosters entrepreneurial competencies through collaboration work. In the study, we explore a singular case in a training workshop through the collection of data using various sources of information, such as participant observation, the results of a focus group with participant teachers, a final evaluation of the competencies developed in the course. The population consisted of 30 teachers grouped into six teams, and where the sample was intentional, with the total number of, of teachers who sent the deliverable at the end of the course. In addition, data triangulation uh, processes were carried out to give validity and reliability to the study. We used the 21st century's competencies to frame the analysis of the findings to know how the participants of the study interpret their experiences and understand the reality. And some of the results as a conclusion and to answer the questions uh, to the questions, uh, what are the teachers' perceptions of the competencies that they develop when working collaboratively in an entrepreneurship workshop? And we analyze the data in the following categories, creativity, initiative, critical thinking, problem solving, and innovation. According to the teachers' perceptions, entrepreneurship in the university teaching is a challenge that requires the conjunction of ideas from the faculty and the students. To reflect on the fundamental principles of the educational project focus on the problem that afflict the academic community, they consider it feasible to apply due to the commitment of, that's shown by all of the participants who made valuable contributions. However, they thought it is essential to continue developing this activity to create more projects in the institution. For future studies, it is necessary to learn about the alternative tools and techniques for project evaluation and the continuous realization that of multidisciplinary projects. It is also promoting collaborative work and knowing the common interests of teachers to establish, to establish synergies. Also, we propose carrying out a quantitative study with questionnaires integrated to learn about participants' experiences and larger groups. Thank you very much.